Ghana is gearing up to lead Africa in the real estate market, and a key component of this trajectory is Petronia City, a project being handled by the infamous Ghanaian billionaire Nanan Kwame Bediako. In the last 20 years, Bediako has constructed and worked on over 700 mega real estate projects all over the world, from Ghana to Singapore, Los Angeles, London, and Las Vegas. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global PT is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Why is it being built? Petronia City is a projected 2,000-acre city development project located around 8 kilometers from Takoradi, Ghana's Western Region headquarters. The project, however, was not easy to start because it required talks with the caretakers of the property on which it was to be built. Nana Kwame Bediako later stated in an interview with Forbes that it was a labor of love, a project nine years in the making, one accomplished with the consent of over 65 families, 12 chiefs, and three sub-chiefs. As Africa continues to develop in the late 21st century, it has the opportunity to build the cities of the future and design a future that all Africans can be proud of. With most European and Asian cities being either relics of the Industrial Revolution or old-fashioned and energetically unsustainable, Africa has the opportunity to make strides toward building fully environmental and energy-efficient cities that would amaze the world. Africa has the chance to create truly future cities where technology meets development and sustainability. It won't surprise you if you arrive in an African city and feel as if you've stepped into the future. However, this future must be constructed by Africans first, which is why smart young developers like Nana Kwame Bidiako are so important to the future we all want to build. Petronia City, for example, is more than just an infrastructure project. It is a light of hope for the generations of Africans longing for change and growth. But Nana isn't the only one on board for this project, as we also have the likes of Azad Kola, a multimillionaire real estate developer in London. Azad told Forbes that he collaborated in the project because he wanted to build a platform of sustainable industrial development, producing and manufacturing to an international standard that will bring investment, training and a number of additional socio-economic benefits to the local and wider communities in Ghana. The cost of importing the required materials and bringing the right professional expertise is currently a huge barrier to the region's public and private sector's ability to fund the required investment into infrastructure and development. By providing the capability to produce within, to not export for the purposes of refining or further manufacturing, but to turn the supply chain around and have easy access to a huge marketplace was an opportunity which spoke for itself. However, he needed to understand local dynamics. He needed a partner with not just the vision, but the know-how and who better than Nana Kwame Bediako. His vision is to use this platform, and the Free Zone Enclave is going to expedite the supply chain in a sustainable environment to meet growing market demands, both ECOWAS and Pan-African. He believes he can bring true autonomy to this part of the continent, one development at a time. And there is no doubt that when construction is done on Petronia, there will be several other major projects in the pipeline for both Azad Kola and Nana Kwame Bediako. 
Petronia seeks to become the first fully integrated commercial center for the oil, gas, and mining industries in the West African region. Following the 2007 oil discovery and concomitant development in socio-economic activities in the region, the Petronia City project was established to address the infrastructural deficiency in Ghana's western region. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of Petronia City, please take a second to hit the like button as it enables our content to reach more people. As earlier mentioned, the notion is that as a result of the tremendous expansion in the oil, gas, mining, financial and government sectors in the area, as a result of the oil finding, specific infrastructures will need to be created to accommodate the expanding industries and expedite the region's overall growth. The project, on the other hand, was simple to start because it required agreement with the custodians of the property on which it was to be built. Speaking from personal experience in real estate development, the billionaire stated that, My dream is not to be extremely successful from development. My dream is to develop nations, to impact cities, and to do that, I should be able to help the country get built. That is why I came up with the vision, Petronia City, I realized that Africa will not be built without new cities, Nana Bediako said. When will it be completed? Details on when Petronia will be completed are a little sketchy, but official estimates predict it should be completed by November 2022, as the project has already entered the third phase of development. Petronia comprises a residential, commercial and office spaces, hotel, retail, healthcare, entertainment, recreation, convention and civic facilities, green open spaces, theme parks and a golf course are all part of the theme mixed use complex. The development will represent the concept of living, working, praying and playing all in one convenient location. Phase 1 of the development is already underway and Phase 2 is three separate components. Energy City will be the main business district and the nerve center of Petronia. Golf Village, a golf community with an 18-hole world-class golf course and institutions, paving the way to further retail and commercial opportunities, housing development and luxury accommodation. And finally, still Phase 2 is an oil and gas university. So, as earlier mentioned, the Phase 3 is already being constructed and its focus will expand on Petronia City's residential, commercial and recreational facilities, civic institutions and landscaping. The city is said to be the talk of West Africa, with highlights of the additional development set to include a world-class transportation hub, multi-purpose stadium and an oil and gas university. Once completed, Petronia City has even been touted to be the Silicon Valley of Africa. This is obvious as it would be indispensable to have so many industrial and finance sectors conveniently in a business hub environment like Petronia City without applying the latest and greatest in next-gen technology. Things like 5G, high-speed public transport and so on. Aside from Petronia, Africa as a whole has the potential to catch up to the West in terms of technical scalability. I am a firm believer in the fourth industrial revolution's virtues, believing that technology would enable Africa to connect to the global marketplace and compete effectively. Farming began civilization, then industrialization wedded farming, and now technology is in twin to the two. I envision a strong economy bolstered by industry as well as a Silicon Valley that can be fully established in Africa. This can become a reality if there is both public and private sector goodwill as well as local community and international investor receptivity, which we hope to foster in Ghana and Petronia. 
creating a silicon valley in petronia entails luring the best technological businesses from across africa and beyond the region this energy city will feed the industrial platform while silicon valley will provide that platform the region with high skill education and employment Transferable skills will continue to be a responsible investment in and for localized communities, as well as a necessary consideration which is often overlooked in emerging market integration. In recent years, Ghana's real estate business has experienced significant growth. As the country's population rises dramatically each year, there has been a significant increase in demand for land. Both locals and experts have an interest in purchasing real estate, whether for commercial or business goals, or simply to lay the groundwork for a home. Whether you're a foreigner trying to invest in Ghana's real estate market, or a Ghanaian hoping to purchase a new home or piece of land, the issue of how to get started is a typical one. So projects like Petronio City are a lifesaver to the Ghanaian people. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so you can become part of our community here at Think Rich Africa. Also, leave a comment so we can know what you think about Petronia City. Are you excited or pessimistic? Just let us know. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.